Sometimes I ask myself, does the world really need another retro-inspired dual stick shoot 'em up? If the brand new game Kite is any indication, then the answer is a resounding yes. From the 16-bit graphics, to the destructible environments, to the crafting system, this is an action game that gets almost everything right. I have a hunch that if more shooters were as good as this one, a whole lot fewer people would complain about dual stick fatigue. Let's start with the good news. The revolution is over and peace has once again returned to Earth. Nature and technology have joined forces, weapons manufacturers have been banned worldwide, and the sun is finally setting on our violent past. But this biomechanical utopia is destined to be short-lived, as there's a super-secret facility where scientists are working tirelessly to create new and even more destructive weapons. It's up to a human-operated remote droid prototype to take on a bunch of killer robots and make sure those deadly weapons don't fall into the wrong hands. All this is an elaborate setup for what turns out to be an exciting dual-stick shooter that is every bit as chaotic as it is fun. Instead of getting thrown into an arena with waves of enemies to kill, you'll need to complete a bunch of missions to beat a stage. This usually involves picking up a certain amount of floppy disks or destroying the generators that are powering the shields. There are usually multiple steps to completing the stage, so it's not as simple as just running around and killing every robot you see. Now, when you're not shooting at everything, you'll spend a lot of your time hunting down scraps that can be used to build new body parts for your droid. The idea is to rescue the stranded scientists, who in turn will unlock more than 100 different crafting designs they can use to upgrade your hero in a bunch of useful ways. And if that wasn't enough, leveling up will also allow you to add perks that will increase your character's speed, shooting range, effectiveness, a reload, and more. You'll even be able to replay the completed levels in order to earn faster times that will open up even more upgrades. There's more going on here than you might initially expect. Of course, the reason that all this comes together is because the action is so damn fun. Kite manages to walk that thin line between feeling like a complete badass and not being too overpowered. The bad guys are relentless and they'll often try to swarm you, but our hero droid is more than equipped for any situation. You'll go into each fight with a couple of different weapon loadouts that you can swap between at any time. This gives our hero a nice selection of long and short ranged weapons, something you'll be able to customize before each mission. And you probably already know where I'm going with this, but yes, you can craft new weapons if you save the right scientists and have enough scraps. When it comes to the negatives, there are only two things that really stand out. For one thing, the game isn't nearly as stable as it needs to be. I found that Kite had a bad habit of crashing on me at the worst possible times. I also wish there was a little more variety to the backgrounds. There are quite a few stages here and a nice mix of objectives, but it's mostly set in the same types of locations. This is a minor nitpick that you probably won't even notice when the action heats up, but a little more variety would have been nice. On the other hand, I love the look of this game. Kite employs a striking pixel design that reminds me a lot of the Chaos Engine. I like how chaotic the action gets, and that you can end up destroying the environments as you go along. The soundtrack is also amazing, giving us a moody and authentic synthwave score. If you grew up loving games like Contra, Smash TV, and Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, then you're gonna feel right at home in this futuristic utopia. Kite is a frenzied experience that manages to be both challenging and fair. This is one of the deeper dual stick shooters you're going to come across, offering everything from a skill tree to crafting to destructible environments. The missions are fun to complete and I enjoyed the cheesy storyline. Unfortunately, the levels start to blur together after a while and the game crashes more than I would like, but none of this should keep you from discovering why Kite is one of the best shoot 'em ups of the year. Hey, thanks for watching our review. So here's the question of the day. What shoot 'em up would you play right now if you had the chance? I'm not looking for your favorite shooter, but rather the first one that springs to mind. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. In other news, I'm currently hard at work on a bunch of reviews and features for next week. Well, I'm not currently working on it, because right now I'm in weekend mode. Oh, I've already had a couple of drinks. Here's hoping that everybody has a great weekend, and before I forget, make sure and click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.